Google Workspace versus Microsoft 365. So hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, let's discuss and compare the main difference between Microsoft and Google Workspace over here with its different features after utilizing their software, their products, and so on and so forth. So first things first, there are many differences between these two platforms. Let's compare them on a basic level. Let's compare their plans and prices. In Google Workspace, they have a lot of plans and products over here. And they have Business Starters, Business Standards, Business Plus, and even Enterprise over here. They have a lot of benefits and a lot of additional things that you will be able to receive uh, per plan, of course. And their price range, as you can see, uh, it's a bit good. It's better than normal. And if you compare it over here in Microsoft 365, it's actually a bit cheaper compared to our Microsoft over here. So it's, uh, this one is $5.40 right now, that is $0.80 right now. But normally, they have a similar pricing. But of course, uh, this one for monthly, it's going to have different pricing. For this one, I think this is for the same price in general. There's no monthly or year over here. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, they have differences in terms of their email or communication capabilities. In Microsoft, their communications typically consist of Outlook, while in Google Workspace, which is utilizing Gmail or Google Mail, which is something we're all typically familiar with. I think Gmail is something a lot of people are using on a daily basis, and that's their communication service in Google Workspace, while in Microsoft 365, it's Outlook. And uh, to compare the different uh, products over here, uh, back in the day, you might recognize these platforms are, these platforms are, or products are the products that are utilized the most. At some point, we have PowerPoint, Excel, Word, stuff like that. While in Google Workspace, we now have our Word or Google Docs, Google Sheet, and so on and so forth. Now, both of these platform has a lot of benefit on each side, and it's really hard to determine which one is better than the other. And it depends more on what you need to use something for. Depends on what type of business you're running and what kind of needs do you have. So it depends, and you should check out how or which type of, of products will work best with what you're doing right now. So that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.